Somebody was, was looking at the blood of an AIDS patient and finding it crawling with some new organism and said, hey, this is this virus that we call HIV. Now, all kinds of diseases started coming into the AIDS family faster than anyone should have been comfortable with, really. To go from two or three to go to, to 30 in a few years was like somebody should have said, hey, there's something wrong here and it's got to be financial. Things don't happen that fast in science. You don't suddenly notice that one new organism is causing every problem. I mean, it was a bizarre thing that happened. It really was. It didn't really have any precedence in terms of, of medicine before that, unless perhaps you could think of the possession by the devil stuff, right? You see, once you're possessed by the devil, anything that happens to you or anything you do is, is got to do with that, right? So it makes it easier for you to get tuberculosis, and it makes it easier for you to get uterine cancer. It makes it easier for you to get candida albicans. And so all those things can now be called AIDS. Now, why would anybody do that? And why would any reasonable doctor start lumping together various symptoms into one pile and think, all this is caused by HIV.